Angel Kai the strongest and Shiva the bloody angel were defeated. All the battles kept going on and everything seemed to be coming to an end. Goku increasingly raising his powers and making the battles become more and more intriguing. Goku had learned the essence of his angel powers after having combined his powers alongside from his energy which had been bound from another timeline. Still, the greatest performance was shown when Vegeta managed to activate his second level of Ultra Ego. Vegeta's powers were each time being increased, even beyond Yamasaki's essence. The primordial power of the Prince of Saiyans was finally revealed. Meanwhile, in the central part of the palace of the High Priestess Sakai, we start slapping and says, Just look at Sakai! <laughs> it seems that things are different now. I feel that Kai and Shiva's energy are gone. Weren't you the one who said that the Mortos and the Daishikun's universe were extremely weak? <laughs> Zakai keeps being serene. Zakai then says, Do you think that just because two of my strongest angels let their gods down, that we will lose the war? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I remember you from when you were such an insolent child, Whis. Now you think you can fight me just for being an angel. <laughs> just look at you. Pitiful. Now you'll see the difference between our powers. Whis makes a serious look on his face. Zanama watches and says, I don't understand. Even though Whis and Vados are very powerful, Zakai as the mother of angels could easily beat them both. But for some reason she's fighting them until now. What's going on? Wait, could it be that while she released the portal of the liberation of dragons she ended up spending too much of her energy? Oh, so that's it Zakai. You know that other warriors can still appear here in the center of the stage, and that's why you're containing your powers, so you can fight the whole war. <laughs> Fascinating as one would expect from the Mother of Angels. <laughs> we says, we don't have time to play here anymore. Supreme Celestial Cube! Come on, Vados, come with me! Vado takes Whis's hand and prepares to launch a massive attack on Zakai. In the blink of an eye, a gigantic dragon appears on the backs of the two angels. Whis looks scared and says, What is that? Vado speaks. Brother, it's very close. It is practically impossible for us to escape. Hey, how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel so you don't miss any videos and stay well inside our entire universe of the Dragon Ball. Without further ado, let's get started. The giant dragon was about to hit Whis and Vados. Zakai starts laughing. <laughs> I had said that I could finish you off on my own. Sarama speaks. Don't get me wrong, but I felt you needed my help, Zakai. We says. Vados, get out of the way! Weez receives the attack of the dragon god Zarama in full. A huge explosion takes place in the palace of the high priestess. Weez's voice comes through. <laughs> Damn it! It seems that this time, not even with Ultra Instinct, I could escape. Really, the attack of the creator of God of Everything hurts a lot. Vados is shocked by the image she sees and speaks. Brother! Weez was with his body all blooded and extremely injured for having received Zarama's attack in full. Weez says, Sister, can you hold it for me? Maybe I'll need some time to recover. Zanama appears in front of Whis and says, And who said I would let you recover? Whis then thinks, Damn it! So the god of Super Dragon Balls decided to start fighting alongside Zakai. Zakai's energy starts to increase. Zanama is impressed. Zakai, smiling insanely, says, <laughs> When did I authorize you to get involved in this Zarama fight? I will finish you all! Southside Palace of the High Priestess. Gohan in his Beast Mode 2 form starts to have an advantage fighting Zyrus. Zyrus says, How could a mortal manage to overcome his limits in this way? If I'm not mistaken, this is the boy who left Zaki in a bad way and now he himself managed to defeat Psycho. I will never accept this. I've had enough of you. Always believe in you can get stronger. Believe in us mortals will be in your pawns. 
Gohan and Zynos begins to exchange several punches as the sale watches. Piccolo just watches Gohan and Zynos battle as he observes Azazel's behavior. Azazel was enraged, but still did not engage in battle. Azazel in his thoughts says, You are too weak, Zyrus. You all, all the angels don't know how to fight. They only embarrass themselves. I myself will finish them off. The Daishi gun, Sakai, all of you, you will all be destroyed. Gohan having the upper hand against Saito starts to think. This transformation doesn't last for long. This guy certainly doesn't have the powers of an angel. If I defeat him, surely Mr. Piccolo will finish him off in his god form. Saito starts to laugh and says, <laughs> Mediocre mortal! What makes you believe that you can defeat me? Gohan looks at Saito with a serious look and starts to reflect. Gohan closes his eyes and begins to remember his battles and says, you know, you know, since I was a child, I always avoided fighting. Unlike a pure-blooded Saiyan. I always had the thought of a hybrid to my human side. Wanted to study, play like a normal child. However, my reality was always surrounded by battles. And I knew that at some point I would have to fight. The first thing I lost in front of me was my father and then my master. I knew I had to stay strong, but fear spoke louder than me, and that made things more tense and I didn't know how to deal with it. Then Mr. Piccolo was teaching me everything I needed to get stronger, and that was believing in myself. My father's absence, I was always in charge of saving the earth, that's what my father and Mr. Piccolo taught me. I am Son Gohan, the Saiyan hybrid from Universe 7. It doesn't matter to me if you're an angel, what you are! I have defeated several enemies to save the Earth, and now it won't be different! Zaido starts to laugh and speaks. <laughs> Beautiful speech! But you talk too much! Die, boy! Inclusion of darkness! Gohan seriously looks and says, Fusion of Saiyan Namekian techniques! Special beam? Kamehameha! Gohan is ultimate attack begins to engulf Zyro's attack, making Zyro's received every attack from Saiyan Hybrid. Zyro says, What? Impossible! Piccolo watches, smiling, and says, Well done, Gohan. You won. Now it is your turn. Piccolo is starting to look at Azazel, who was totally enraged, and says, How dare you! Zydos, you weak, being defeated by a mere mortal! Gohan was already weakened from having fought Zyko and soon after against Zydos says, Mr. Piccolo, I'm broke. <laughs> this guy is with you now. Gohan then faints. Azazel speaks. Angels, always as weak as ever. It is time for the Makayoshins to spring into action. Scared, Piccolo says. Makayoshi and an angel were together all this time. Zyrus, lying on the floor, barely able to speak, says. Don't be mad, Azazel, please. Azazel says. Now it will be the end of you all. A blue light appears in front of Azazel. Piccolo again activates his Namek God form and speaks. <laughs> well, well. I guess it's time for the Super Namekian to step into action. Kingdom of the Makayoshin. Damagrates, the prince of the Makayoshin, says, Angels and demons, natural enemies since the beginning of time. It seems that time goes by, but natural fights always remain the same. I wonder, those who break the ruse are judged by the kingdoms, but what happens? When two races break the rules. <laughs> Meki Kabura, the king of the Makayoshin kingdom, says, You are wondering about many things, my son. What is making you think so much? Tawa and Demigra appear. Tawa says, Surely he's thinking of Zazazel. After all, one of the demons of that kingdom he decided to leave here with an angel to dominate the world. We finally knew this wasn't going to work out so well. 
<laughs> Demigra says, we don't get involved in battles that the Angels are in. I was able to face an extremely powerful mortal a long time ago, Son Goku. If his side emerges victorious from this war between angels and mortals, <laughs> we'll have the pleasure of annihilating Son Goku and his friends. <laughs> Maybe Azazel becomes just a memory like the Makayoshin who betrayed us. <laughs> Formerly the kingdom of the Makarshins, there were several extremely powerful Makai emperors. One of them was acclaimed for his power up for destroying several kingdoms and several souls who came to his kingdom. That was Azazel, but one day, his kingdom was completely destroyed by angels sent by Daishinkan. Azazel was exiled from his race of Makayoshins for not being able to save his army. Times later, his fury was only increasing and making the Makai Emperor become increasingly angry with everyone of his race. Azazel says, My entire army was caught off guard by this inferior race. How dare them! Can never accept that! Emigra, Mekikabura, you disown me. Those damn angels! I'm going to finish you off one by one! Azazel leaves the Makai realm. As time goes by, his body recovers and his energy becomes increasingly rejuvenated. Until the moment an angel appears in front of him laughing. <laughs> what are you doing here in my universe? <laughs> Azazel just watches. Laughing Zaido says, You seem very strong. It would be very interesting to manipulate you. <laughs> Azazel watches and speaks. An angel. You have no idea who you're talking to. Zydos laughs and says, You are in my universe. You will never be accepted here. Prepare to die. Zydos lands the kiss of death on Azazel. Zydos says, <laughs> That's the end of you. It's over. Azazel seriously says, Kiss of death? <laughs> How would a technique like that work on someone who judged all souls in hell? <laughs> Zyda speaks. What? Impossible! Is he a demon? Azazel turns the battlefield with Zyda's completely dark. The same energy that occur in the Makai realm. All energy from the Makaishin realm weakens the angel. Zyda says. How is this possible? How did you manage to get here? Azazel says. You're strong. If it weren't for my ability, you would certainly have beaten me. Your universe is a parallel dimension. I'm sure you have unfinished business with your own race. Let's unite and create our own empire. Zyra smiles. An angel and a demon together. Azazel says, I don't want my name to be exposed to everyone. From today, I will be on your side. As if I were your god of destruction, I will be the being of the unknown presence. Since then, Zyrus and Azazel wandered the universe until they were sealed away by the Daishikan in the First Celestial War. Back to current times, Azazel charges forward to attack Piccolo. Piccolo with his Namek god energy dodges and running quickly lands several punches on Azazel. Piccolo says, I don't care what your race are. Know that you will be defeated now! Piccolo remember his past defeat against Zaki, having lost his Namek God powers. Piccolo says, If at that time I had endured my transformation a little longer, I would have definitely beaten those guys. I'm already tired of always having to play these games, just like Gohan, I will win! This guy is very powerful, but he has very slow movements. I already know what I should do. Azazel arrives in front of Piccolo and says, This will be your end! Piccolo smiles and speaks, Predictable as ever. Piccolo reaches out and wraps his arm around Azazel's body and says, Slow as ever. Piccolo powers up a large special bean cannon on Azazel and launches it at the demon. Azazel says, Impossible! Azazel takes Piccolo's attack full on. Piccolo says, You're finished. 
Piccolo looks at Gohan and Gohan speaks. Mr. Piccolo, watch out! A great ray of darkness is launched at Piccolo. Azazel's voice comes up and speaks. <sighs> How dare you attack me like that? Zyrus will use his power. Zyrus, who is lying on the ground, has her angelic power stolen by Azazel. Piccolo says, What? He stole all of an angel's- Azazel starts to smile and says, <laughs> Impossible. Gohan tries to get up and speaks. Mr. Piccolo! Now it's really complicated, you need to run! Piccolo's transformation begins to unravel. Piccolo says, Not yet. Gohan, this guy now has even more power than that angel you fought. Gohan and Piccolo charge towards Azazel, but are already quickly stopped. Azazel says, Too weak. How do you think you will be able to stop the mother of angels with such mediocre power? I have news for you. I myself will end the mother of angels. It speaks. No, I don't have the strength to fight anymore. Mr. Piccolo, what are we gonna do now? Piccolo starts to reflect and says, We let our guard down again. A sequence of three powerful enemies without even being able to recover was very complicated. But I didn't expect this guy to get his energy back. He got totally out of hand. But maybe, if I use all my Namekian power, I could eliminate him. But it would have cost my life. Azazel starts laughing and speaks. What are you whispering so much, you miserable pile of crap? Die! Piccolo says, Gohan, this fight will end now. Now it's up to you. Gohan says, no, Mr. Piccolo, don't do that, please! Just as Piccolo is about to sacrifice himself, a voice appears. <laughs> Stronger than an angel. <laughs> every day, every moment I live, I laugh even more. <laughs> Angelic Spirit Spear. A huge attack pierces as a cell. Gohan and Piccolo don't understand what happened. Zydus lying on the ground says, Azazel? Azazel speaks. What? What was that? Mojito. The angel of Universe 9 appears in front of everyone. Mojito says, I'm sorry to go behind the back. It's just that I literally don't have time to waste on you, Azazel. I've heard rumors about you in the past, and it would be a huge headache to fight your dark energy. So the easiest way would be for you to let your guard down and I'd send you into space in a blink of an eye. <laughs> hmm. Azazel says, Mojito, you miserable! Mojito says, Too late. Angelic extinction. Turn to cosmic dust. Another huge explosion erupts in the Kai's palace. Azazel, the unknown presence is wiped out by the Universe 9's Mojito. Mojito heals Gohan and Piccolo's wounds. Gohan speaks. Thank you very much, Angel of Universe 9. I remember you in the Tournament of Power. Mojito looks at Zyrus. Zyrus smiles and says, <laughs> Finish me off, brother. Mojito is smiling, points his finger at Zyrus and closes his eyes. Mojito says, Whatever. Zyrus closes his eyes but feels his body recovered. Zyrus says, what? Did you get my body back? Why didn't you kill me? Mojito says, We are angels. You are unlikely to turn against us again. The Sun Gohan boy defeated you. If you mess up one more time, I will not go easy on you. Come on, people, we have a war to end. You can stay there whining about everything you've done, or come with us and stop the mother of angels. Zyrus. Zyrus smiles. Gohan says, this must be assembly thing. <laughs> a huge explosion takes place in the palace of the high priestess. Gohan, Mojito, and the others get scared. Gohan says, What was that? A great explosion appears in the palace of the high priestess Akai. Gohan starts to question himself. What's going on here? Weak insider says, This is an energy of uncontrolled destruction. At that moment in Vegeta's location, Vegeta begins to feel an extremely high energy pressure. Vegeta says, What the hell is going on here? I'm still getting my energy back. 
A voice comes up. Mortals defeating angels. It seems that I haven't seen that in a long time. It seems that a prophecy is about to happen. <laughs> the moment mortals manage to overcome the gods, the great end will begin. <laughs> Vegeta says, The voice, the key, is even more powerful than before. But I know that energy. The voice says, It looks like you've gotten a lot stronger than the last time I saw you, Vegeta. So you've discovered your true essence. Vegeta responds, You knew everything all this time. You've been watching my struggle. And you didn't think to help me for a moment. The voice says, <laughs> You didn't need my help, Vegeta. I thank them for saving me. But I never said we were friends. <laughs> Vegeta watches. At that moment, the dragon Zafir, brother of Zalama, appears. Hey, how's it going? Zafir, the supreme dragon, second brother of Zarama, appears on a battlefield. Zafir was sealed in an empty dimension created by Zakai. After Goku and Vegeta were sent by Zaki and Bazarot, owned the trap that was launched on them, Goku reached the infinite Super Saiyan stage and managed to defeat the clone of the angel Siva. With that, alongside Vegeta, he found Zafir, Zarama's brother, second general of the Dragon Army. Until then, until then Zafir had disappeared saying he had unfinished business to resolve and now he appears in Zakai's celestial palace in front of Vegeta. What has Zafir been doing all this time? Vegeta wasn't quite understanding what he was seeing. Vegeta doesn't know about Zafir's true powers. Zafir, that dragon that once showed to be very powerful and told Goku and Vegeta all the past that the ancestors of his race, all the stories of the legendary Saiyans about the essence of Yamushi. At that time, Vegeta was going through several complications considering that Kakarot managed to raise his power even more. Vegeta wondered why Kakarot was so powerful and how he managed to get so strong. At these moments, we began to question ourselves. Was Zafis coming to show that Vegeta could even increase his powers, or was Zafi already thinking about something that could happen? Vegeta starts to question himself and says, this, All of this is happening, and it's very strange. How did this guy manage to show up here? It doesn't make any sense! First, he started to raise his powers even more when he fought with us in a void dimension, and later he seems to be purposely wanting us to know about Yamoshi's essence. Kakarot showed the transformation of the Infinite Saiyan and soon after managed to increase his powers more and more. This made us imagine that Kakarot's powers had no limits. But if we stop to think about it, the beginning of this war, when Kakarot revealed all of his powers, he went through different training every moment. And it seems that even all this time, Kakarot's strength was still not enough to defeat the enemy anymore. <sighs> it's okay that Kakarot managed to win a battle now. But still, he went through a lot of training. It's not possible. Is it? Zafir began to watch and laugh. <laughs> Cheetah, look. I really must say that your line of reasoning is much greater than that of the other warriors. In the blink of an eye, you were able to really understand everything that was happening. That is fantastic, Mr. Vegeta, the prince of all Saiyans. Congratulations. Now you can see that Goku actually remained a puppet of Sakai. <laughs> Vegeta at that moment questions himself. What? What are you talking about? Zafir responds, Could you remember that from the beginning we always said that Goku was the target of the High Priestess? Goku at first was the Saiyan that had been sent to Earth, so he could become a great warrior, conquering planets. Vegeta, even when you appeared at Frieza's command and fought against Goku, you could see that your powers were not the same as before. You realized that everything that was happening could be changed when you saw that Goku's powers were not the same. You managed to understand that the strength of this Saiyan came from within, or fought for his loved ones. 
That's why you decided to raise your family. Who would have guessed? You, Vegeta, being a father. <laughs> that say who only thought about destruction and at the same time also wanted to have immortality. Well, actually, that's all that happened in the blink of an eye. And you were the creator of all this essence. But that's beside the point. <laughs> what happens is that the mother of angels since her time in Cell has always thought about it. She always wanted things to happen her way. While you didn't even know who the angels were. <laughs> While you had several battles and became much more powerful, the high priestess that guy already knew about it. I was able to meditate for a long time after you freed me, and I started to analyze several things that had been happening. But I confess that what intrigued me the most and left me with a very big thought was seeing all the powers that Goku achieved. And I confess that at this level, that you and Goku have now surprised me. I would never have imagined that you could become much more powerful than some kind of angel. But know that in the ranking of angels, Kai always said that he was the strongest. And I always had my doubts. And by the way, you can see that Shiva, even though she was just a bloody angel, she was not an angel who could fight in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Maybe that's why you won. Cheetah responds. <laughs> What are you trying to say? You mean I won just because the angel wasn't that powerful? The fear observes and says, Oh, that's not it, Vegeta. Did you not understand? The big issue here is that you didn't realize that all this time Goku's energy was being drained. Goku has always gone through different training since this war started. Training with Zydos, soon after with the Daishikan himself. After you found out about Yamushi's essence, everything happened the way the Mother of Angels wanted it. But we made you think that it was Goku's third son, Gon, who was the real target. <laughs> now he's lying in the Void Dimension while all his energy has been drained to save Zarama. So can you understand what this means, Vegeta? Scared, Vegeta says, No! It's not possible! That's not possible! All we're doing is getting Kakarot drained of energy by Sakai. Is Sakai waiting for Kakarot? Damn it! I can't let that happen! Vegeta, with his weakened body, tells Zafir to get out of the way! Zafir says, I'm sorry, but with your body, you're not getting anywhere. I have unfinished business with Zarama, but I can't let you out there. No. I have unfinished business with Zarama. But I can't let you out of here just yet. Vegeta activates his Phase 2 Ultra Ego again. Vegeta says, <clears throat> If you don't leave here for good, you'll leave for bad. I'm already tired of these angels and demons. Continue to think we were mere pawns. Zafir says, Ah, Saiyans, as usual, they're never happy with anything. I reveal the truth to you, and yet you want to attack me. Well, and it'll be like this, Vegeta. Come! An unusual battle. Vegeta Ego 2 vs Zafir. Still, with all this war and all these fights, we can see that now Sakai's target has always been Goku. North side of the battle against Sakai. Sakai says, I feel like he's getting closer and closer here. I hope to see you soon, Son Goku. <laughs> South side of the palace of the High Priestess Akai. At the moment, Gohan beside Mojito, Piccolo and Zydos walk through the palace of the Great Priestess. Zydos looks at Gohan and Piccolo says, You two, even with Mojito's recovery, are still down. Mojito watches and says, well, I don't have that much recovery powers. My skills are different. You know very well that the powers of the angels are divided between them and perhaps it would be good for you to do something, wouldn't you, little sister? At this moment, Zydus begins to create a large sphere of energy over Gohan and Piccolo. Gohan begins to feel his power fully rejuvenated. Piccolo also regains even more of his strength. Gohan speaks. <laughs> what are you 
What do you do to me? It feels like my body is getting 10 times stronger than it already was. Zyrus looks at Gohan and says, I think this is the least I can do for you. This is undoubtedly an essence of the power of the angels of universe 13. I hope that you will recover you no, I hope that you recover your energy. And that will cause your latent powers to be brought back to Son Gohan, the mortal who managed to match the power of an angel. I hope you feel proud of this, because it's very rare for someone to raise their power to that level. Piccolo watches and says, You're talking about Gohan. <laughs> Gohan is Son Goku's first son. If it weren't for Gohan, maybe this war would already be won by the side of the Mother of Angels. Since Gohan saved the Earth against the Demon Cell and ended up awakening several latent powers. Soon after, he defeated Majin Buu. That was incredible, and I confess that maybe now this issue of defeating an angel and fighting a demon are even his greatest achievements. Don't discredit mortals. Mortals really can do amazing things. Zydos is fascinated and looks at Gohan in a different way. It seems like before I wanted to get rid of this kid and these guys because of what Azazel was telling me to do. But now, it seems that I really get the vision that they are fighting for a right cause. In fact, they are not even looking to find out if Zenosama or Daishikan are the real culprits. They just want the war to be over and maybe if the High Priestess keeps these thoughts going it could all lead to an end. They want a world where peace exists. Where all the angels can continue to protect each other of all universes. Maybe if Sakai understood their goal. No. Maybe if Sakai understood their true goals. There could be an agreement with the High Priest and everything could be at peace. I think... I think that would be the best situation to resolve everything. Maybe... Mojito... Maybe Mojito let me live for that reason. I'm trying to convince the Mother of Angels. Mojito looks at Zyros and says, Sister, don't be such a fool. Do you think that at some point I would need you to try to convince the Mother of Angels? Just knowing that you are on our side now, the Mother of Angels would surely annihilate her in the blink of an eye. What concerns me here is that I want to know the real truth. Gohan doesn't understand what the Angel of Universe 9 is talking about. Gohan questions. The real truth? What are you talking about, Mojito-san? Mojito looks at Zydos and says, Zydos know very well everything that happened in the last Celestial War. There are several kingdoms that you don't know about it here. Probably the Earth and other universes are being invaded by a horde of dragons. The destruction cats were also on the side. However, I still didn't see the cold demons. Among the cold demons, there are extremely powerful warriors. The supreme saiyans are incredible and considered for a long time as the strongest beings in the universe. And yet, you defeated Bazarot. Did you know that Bazarot is an extremely strong supreme saiyan? Who didn't even have time to show his real powers due to Goku activating his celestial power? The big question that occurs in the midst of all this is that some problems can still be created. The first one, I don't know if you know, Bazarat has a son. Gohan starts watching and says, What? Did that monster have a child? With even greater powers? Zyra speaks, Are you saying that Sakai's generals who were destroyed can still get involved in this war? Mojito responds, but don't be so silly, my dear sister. You know that very well and you're still wanting to go back to Zakai's side. If so, I'm going to finish you off right here and now. Dido starts to smile and says, <laughs> All right, brother. I will reveal the whole truth to you. And I hope you are prepared. What does Zyrus have to reveal? Planet of Destruction of Universe 18. Days ago, before the start of the second phase of the Celestial War, Bazarat, the ultimate Saiyan. Bazarat was just watching everything that was happening. Bazarat knew that the great enemies would appear. Bazarat says, It feels like my body is totally weakened. I think things got really complicated. After so much time of so many battles and conquering so many planets, I was supposed to be able to steal Zakai's powers. I was right. <laughs> But if a war approaches, there's not much to do. 
especially the mother of the angels wanting to control everything. But this will be interesting. I confess that soon I will wait for great battles to approach. Come on! I want to see how far this can go! At that moment, another voice comes up and says, It looks like you don't get tired of fighting, do you? You never get tired of showing your true powers. <laughs> you really are amazing. But I think that in the midst of all this, it's my turn to fight. At that moment, Banzarot makes a serious face and says, I think you still don't have the essential power to win this fight. After all, you are my son. But you're light years weaker than your father. <laughs> At that moment, Haki, the first son of Banzarot appears. Haki says, <laughs> You discredit my strength too much, father. I alone could end this whole war, but you never listen to me. You always want to send other warriors, and I am the first general of the Supreme Saiyan Army of Universe 18, and I will definitely be able to win. At that moment, Bazarot says, Funny. So what about until I regain my ultimate powers? You go to this war in my place and pose as the great Bazarot Supreme God? Aki smiles and speaks. <laughs> Amazing. That would be a fine honor, father. Especially since I had to destroy them all in the blink of an eye. It will be very interesting to go alongside the other Supreme Saiyans. <laughs> At that moment, another voice comes up and says, Nice to meet you, Basarat from Universe 18. I'm Zaki from Universe 14, the Supreme God of Destruction Saiyan Hybrid. I would like to talk to you. <laughs> Zaki and Bazarat, the two that caused major disturbances within the entire war, had something planned from the beginning. Yet Bazarat sent his son Haki into battle to impersonate him. What's going on with all this? The truth that Zyros knew and Mohtu questioned is being revealed. Flashback to the second phase of the Celestial War, Universe 18. Planet of Destruction, Saiyans. The real Bazarot receives an unusual visit from Zaki, the Supreme Hibbert Saiyan of Universe 14. Zaki says, Well, 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 it's not my dear friend Bazarot. <laughs> Let's just get down to business. A war is coming, and I have too many memories of everything that happened in the past. So I need you to hear me out. Zaki changes his face to a serious one. I think very differently since the first Celestial War. You know very well that there are extremely strong warriors inside all universes. It would be crazy for us to imagine that alone we could defeat any enemy, no matter how great our powers. Bazarat starts laughing and says, <laughs> Are you kidding me? The hybrid Saiyan? From Universe 14, he's scared! <laughs> oh, my. oh, that's funny. You must be curing me, right? Do you think I couldn't defeat any mortal enemy? Do you think any mortal could be able to defeat a god? At that moment, Zaki answers. You have many problems, even more involved with Universe 7. Do you remember what you did in the past with Beerus the Destroyer? Maybe. I'm not saying you couldn't beat Beerus in the past, but that betrayal will make you the first target brought straight by Universe 7. I wouldn't be afraid, but still, it's a tricky thing. Who knew that the other gods of destruction, just like Ziel himself, would have a hard time fighting some warriors? Ziel, the one who has the energy to release the essence being brought directly by the angels. Would you imagine that it could be destroyed? So it's worth thinking that we could make a different alliance. You want Zakai's powers, don't you? I think we have something in common. <laughs> Bazarot observes and says, What are you trying to say? Zaki responds, As strong as we are, and as much as we are part of Zakai's army, you know that at some point, just like her thinking, she will want to bring out the supreme dragon god Zarama. That, this, we can say, 
This we can say is the true madness of the mother of angels. Because the moment that Alma returns, he will surely want to be the supreme general of everything. Would you be able to believe in the powers of someone who can only with the strength of his thought accomplish anything? <laughs> that sounds like crazy, doesn't it? Well, that's exactly what Saroma can and will do. He will want to end everything and everyone whenever he wants. He knows what he's capable of and he knows he has powers that are the powers needed to destroy anyone he wants. It has been sealed all this time since the first celestial war. Their combined powers were more powerful even than the High Priest's own self. The High Priest himself still wants to resolve the situation. No, the High Priest is entrusting his powers to mortals. So why would we, the supreme gods of destruction of the High Priestess universes, entrust our bodies at the start of this war to Zakai? Can we do something different? How about sending beings that have extremely high powers and can impersonate us? Then we will know what is the true objective of the true idea of Zakai. <laughs> Surely, when this war starts, the tension will be so great that no one will be able to understand who is who anymore. When Zarama is released, he will surely send his army. And then, we will be able to see extremely powerful beings emerging and instead of being just pawns in this chess game, we will begin to see how the king and queen actually move. When we attack, it will be our checkmate. Bazarot laughs and says, Haki! <laughs> so Haki, you mean you want to fight in my place, isn't it? So I think we already have the essence of the new Bazarot being acclaimed. <laughs> oh, you will impersonate me during the beginning of this war, and I want to see what happens. At that moment, Zaki smiles and says, I will send an essence with 30% of my power straight to this war. So this fight will begin. Let's analyze what would happen from here. Back to current times. Mojito starts watching and says, I find it very strange when I received the news that Zaki and Bazarat had been defeated together by Son Goku. So that means that's it. They were the first ones who were already on the side of the war. They wanted to go after the boy. Hmm. At that moment, Gohan says, What the hell are you talking about? What boy are the next two? So that means those two monsters we faced on Earth posing as Zaki and Bozarat weren't the real ones. At that moment, Zayo says, No, you didn't fight the real Zaki and Bozarat. And probably who Goku ended up killing was the son of the true supreme god of Universe 18 and the essence of 30% of Zaki's power. I'm saying that Bazarot, as soon as he finds out that Haki, the heir of the throne of Universe 18, has been eliminated, he will definitely want revenge. Gohan replies, But isn't this battle that is going on between the angels enough? What could a Saiyan do more than them? At this point, Mojito starts laughing and says, You are a bit silly. Even because imagine that you, who do not hold the position of gods of destruction or saiyans, only by training were they able to surpass the angels and still raise their powers to a much higher level. Imagine a supreme saiyan god who has always been cunning and has always possessed extremely high capabilities. Imagine the level he can reach training alone or the level he may have already reached. <sighs> that might actually be a nightmare. Gohan, with his rejuvenated strength, says, It doesn't matter! We'll finish them off! Zaido says, That's not the big question. The big question is that some things can still change. Zaki and Bazarot thought of all this before the start of the war. Can you get an idea of how they were even ahead of the Mother of Angels besides being strong? They are great battle strategists. And up till now I ask myself, what is the true ambition of those two? No, yes, we can say that things are going to get complicated once they know about the truth about Son Goku and the truth about his son. 
So if you, Gohan, defeated Zaiko just now, it was definitely just another obstacle that was planned by Zankin Bazarot. Gohan says, What do you mean? Mojito says, <laughs> She means that now that Zaiko has been defeated, Zaiko's essence has again been transferred into Gohan's body. So the real Gohan will now be the being born in the empty dimension. At this moment, the Supreme Angelic Saiyan will recover all his powers and who will go after him will be the Supreme God Saiyan and the Hibbert Saiyan. Zarkin Bazarot, if I were you, maybe I would run to go after Gon. <laughs> Gohan says, Damn it, that's not possible. We need to go after Gon now. Zaino smiles and says, Good luck, you'll need it. An incredible turnaround takes place. What will happen to Gon's body? The real Zaki and the real Bazarot fooled everyone. Meanwhile, Zakai continues to fight Whis and Vados. What will Zarama do about it? Battles in all other universes continues to take place. At that moment in an empty dimension, we can see Gon unconscious. In a few moments, Gon opens his eyes. Gon, Son Goku's third son was feeling his body more powerful than before. That boy who had been betrayed by Zakai in one day thought about ending the Celestial War and had his whole body torn apart for Zarama's release is back. Gon, Son Goku's third son after having combined his energies with the other versions of Psycho finally appears. What's going on differently with Gon's body? Gon looks like this power is amazing. Gon says, This power is amazing. So does that mean I was predestined for this? Look, I thought that this was going to be the end. The moment Kai had used me to unlock Zarama's portal, but now I seem to understand what's really going on. Good. I don't know which side I'm on in this war anymore. My father must probably be struggling in the midst of all this. It seems that I feel memories of another timeline in which things happen and it's different much. You mean that this is the memory of Zyko that's with me? Huh. He had already caused big problems in several other timelines. So it means that this battle was destined to happen. And this could be that I really was to blame for all of this. Fascinating. Now I'm going to really show my power and everything I'm capable of. Things are going to get more and more intriguing, and I want to see everything that's capable of happening. Voice comes up and says, Well done, boy. Looks like you're as skilled as the others. The true elite Saiyan, this angelic gene certainly makes everyone question themselves. What would be the highest level of your power? And I can say that you are really having great potential. I think you should get lost among all these other warriors. Your potential is much greater to surpass anyone in this war. Don't care about Zarama anymore, he's nothing. This war will soon end and we will reign over our empire. Surprised, Gon says. Who's talking? Who are you? At that moment, the image of a true supreme god of Universe 18, Bazarat, appears. Bazarat says, I am the true god of Universe 18. Know that you had a great performance in these battles, but you were defeated by Kai. <laughs> and Kai already realized that he was defeated by someone. It's quite complicated. Gon starts watching and notices. Do these guys think they can beat me? I remember the energy having just been defeated by my father. The two together were defeated, so it doesn't make any sense for them to think they have any power with angelic saiyans. I was only defeated by Kai because he was the strongest angel. But even so, my body was not prepared. Well, I don't know what you want here, but I'm going to finish you two here now. At that moment, Gon already had Zaki's energy under his body. He moves forward to attack Zaki and Bazarat. At that moment, Bazarat easily dodges Gon's attacks. Bazarat points his hand at Gon's face. 
I think we were introduced properly. I am the true supreme god, Basarat. And this is the true supreme Saiyan hybrid. It wasn't our true bodies that were fighting. In fact, I am very angry with your father, as I heard that he ended up eliminating my son, the prince of the Saiyan kingdom of Universe 18. But I promise, I won't bring you so much anger if you join our Saiyan empire. That empire is gonna make us the rulers of everything. The most powerful true Saiyans. We will fix this war, and after that, we will show them all what we came for. After all, I have a plan that would be very interesting. And after all this war is over, we will liberate a kingdom that is the primordial enemy of the angels. <laughs> Gone watches and says, What are you talking about? Bazarat speaks. Ooh. Listen carefully. We will create the liberation of the Makai Kingdom. What? Gon was prepared to fight and show his best performance in the midst of all the battles. But he receives an unexpected proposal from Bazarat and Zaki in the empty galaxy. After recovering his body, what will be Gon's response? Meanwhile, in the central stage of the palace of the greatest priestess Akai, Goku begins to use the mastery of his level 2 Ultra Instinct against the most powerful priestess. Goku starts to raise his powers even more, and Whis is impressed, saying, It is not possible! How did Mr. Goku manage to get so strong in such a short time? Seems like he knows everything that happened in the past. So is that... is that... Is that it, Mr. Goku? Now you have the power it takes to take them all out. <laughs> I would really want to see that what level you are capable of reaching. Show it all to us. At that moment, Goku starts to get stronger, raising his power even more. Goku says, <gasps> I can feel Gon's energy. It's more powerful now. I knew he was definitely going to get stronger. So that's it. Things are going to really start to look up for our team. Mr. Whis. Can you pull yourself together a little longer? Miss Vados, you can count on me. I'll be able to work things out here. At that moment, Goku looks at Dorama. Goku starts to think, this guy must be very powerful. As much as I'm fighting the High Priestess, he continues to meditate. As if he, everything is fine, I can't understand. High Priestess Akai says, Do you really think you will have the powers to win? Do you really think you do? You can do something against me, Son Goku? Uh, this is angry. I won't forgive you. How dare you apart like no tomorrow. <laughs> Get ready. That now you will know the true power of the Zakai Angel. At that moment, Goku says, You've already caused a lot of problem here. I do not accept many more of those decisions. I promise that now I will end you all. Zarama opens his eyes and says, <laughs> Incredible, formidable, this power is really shocking. But I don't have any time anymore. My army is getting stronger every time. You left formidable warriors on Earth, didn't you? But you should really think about who you should trust. Well, I think it's about time I destroy the Earth and all universes. Goku, Whis, and Vados get scared and says, What? To be continued. Is Arama planning to directly destroy the Earth and all universes? So hey, why do you believe it's going to happen after all this? Regardless of what it is, it is more than important that you arrive exposing it in your comments so that we can enter into that crazy debate. Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. Oh, and sorry, don't forget to hit the bell. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.